Hi, this is a quick video on how to figure out how to use a ruler. Now, we're going to use the English system of measurement in this class. So I'm going to take this strip of paper, I'm going to turn it into a one inch ruler. And this one inch ruler is going to represent all my sixteenths. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking one inch, which is a rather small thing as you can see here from here to here, and I'm blowing it up to something that's as big as this strip of paper. And I'm stealing this idea from one of my friends that I learned in college. So I'm going to start over here and I'm going to put a big line and I'm going to put a zero. And the lengths of our lines matter because on a ruler, the lengths of a line help us figure out what things are. So I've got a zero on this end, I have a one on this end, there's my one inch. I'm going to take this paper, I'm going to fold it in two. And if you think about this, after I fold it in two, I've created a line halfway between zero and one. I'm going to make this line right here, right on that fold, and I'm going to call that half. And that will represent half our inch because there's half here and there's half here. So far, so good. Let's fold that again. So if I had half a dollar and I wanted to find half of half of a dollar, so I folded my paper this big. To get that half of half a dollar, I have four pieces of that dollar. There's one here, there's one here, there's one here, and finally there's one here. So those are going to be quarters. So I want to make my line not quite as long. I'm going to call this one quarter. The half would be two quarters, but we never call half two quarters. It's always half. And then we come over here. This is going to be three quarters. So once I've done that, now I've got quarter, half, three quarters, one. What is half of a quarter? So I'm going to take my paper that was here, fold it in half. What's half of a quarter? Nobody knows? Well, here's how we find out. Half of any fraction we find by taking the denominator. We remember the denominator is the bottom number because Arnold Schwarzenegger says, we're down with the denominator. So we're at the bottom or the denominator. Notice this is half, right here, a quarter is half of this. What's happened? We've doubled the bottom, or we've doubled the denominator. So half to quarter. So if we follow that same thought process, this would be an eighth. So I'm going to make this line not quite as long as my quarter line. I'm going to call that an eighth. Now is that true? Are there eight eighths in an inch? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, there are. So let's go down through here and let's label all of our eighths. So this is three eighths. This is five eighths. Notice that our numerator or the number on top is always odd because if it becomes an even number, it would be one of these other fractional parts of an inch. For example, two eighths reduces to one quarter. Two quarters reduces to one half. So it goes that way throughout. So now I'm going to take my paper, I'm going to fold it in half one more time. So remember, this was eighths, this is eighths. We're going to fold it in half again. I'm going to unfold it. Now remember, if we double the denominator to find half of a fraction, this right here is half of an eighth. We double our denominator, this becomes a sixteenth. This would become three sixteenths. Notice we always count odd. 5 sixteenths. And the reason we count odd is because that would be 6 sixteenths or 3 eighths because it reduces. 7 sixteenths, 9 sixteenths, 11 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths, and lastly 15 sixteenths. So that means there's only 15 sixteenths in an inch? No, there's 16 sixteenths in an inch because that would reduce to a 1. So that is how we take our one inch and we break it up into sixteenths and we can label it in something big enough so we can see and then we can compare that to our ruler which is here and we'll see that all of our numbers would match and we could use this as a road map to read this. There are going to be some more activities revolving around measuring so I hope this works for you and as always please contact me with questions. Thanks.